Welcome to our first ever Technology Tailgate Talk. My name is Ben Sheldon. I'm the technology segment lead for the New Holland brand here in North America. Joined today by a very, very unique customer, Mr. John McGinn from the hills of East Tennessee who owns McGinn Angus. John, absolute pleasure to have you with us today. Great, thank you. Pleasure to be here. So John, like I mentioned, you're not a typical, you know, you're not your typical cow-calf operator. You're not your typical, I, I really, cattle producer. What is it that McGinn Angus is known for? Yeah, so when I started out, uh, I started out really with commercial cattle and uh, found out quickly that in my region it was really hard to make money in commercial cattle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I shifted uh, to doing a lot of research on breeds. Uh, the Angus breed has such a great reputation and marketing presence um, and they're great cows. So I decided to get into the registered Angus business. So um, I spent about eight months really studying uh, the EPD profiles for the Angus Association. There's great information uh, available on the Angus site and every cow that's been tested, uh, you can look at those genetics. And I used my background in, uh, in finance and building financial models to build an algorithm that would allow me to do predictive breeding. So let's talk a little bit, a little bit about your day job yeah. and what your career looked like before the before McGinn Angus came to fruition. Because you were not always a cattle breeder. Tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, I mean, you know, I started out in finance as a commodity trader. Mm -hmm. I built financial models for energy. Um, I traded uh, electric, natural gas, oil, um, and I was used to building out pretty extensive financial models because. To work behind any of the utilities, you have to understand their requirements because they're all different. So you have to understand all of those. So at any rate, I spent a lot of time building out financial models for that. Uh, I got into technology after I got out of that business. Uh, I was a finance director and I ran HR, finance, and IT for a decent sized company. So uh, I kind of stuck on the IT side and I've spent the last 25 years in technology. What was the driver for you as a, as a person who's looking to be successful in their operation? Um, that's not your typical full-time farmer. What was, your, what was the draw to technology? What was the draw to PLM and what was the draw to Precision Ag? So, you know, when I first got my first tractor, it was a T475. I didn't have, I didn't have that technology. And, you know, again, when you're out cutting your fields, mowing or cutting hay, you know, there's, there's problems you have you know we're we're in an area that has a lot of limestone outcroppings so you can have you know uh, a rock head that's mm. poking up that you know you really don't want to mow over and you don't know where it is in the hay field no, especially uh, at 10 mile an hour, you right? know you've got drainage areas that you may have ditches that you're not aware of we have sinkholes I mean there's all sorts of hazards mm. that you have so with my t475 you really had to pay attention because I don't remember where all those things are on the farm. Um, you know, and if you're not paying attention, you can really get in trouble. So when I upgraded my tractor, uh, there were a lot of reasons that I wanted to go ahead and get the technology in the tractor. One, I wanted to be able to map my fields and understand what, how big are my fields mm -hmm. so that when I'm buying seed or I'm fertilizing, uh, I don't want to use more than I need but I need to use enough. Yep. And I wanna make sure I get full coverage. Uh, being able to understand when I'm mowing where those hazards are because they're marked on the screen. Being able to calculate how big my fields are to know how much do I need to buy mm -hmm. because sort of just in time delivery, I don't wanna really spend a lot of money yep. more than I need uh, to buy chemicals or fertilizer or seed just to have it set for a year because I didn't need it. I want to. I, I really do try to calculate all of those things out. Um, so I really like the technology in the tractor for all of those reasons. Uh, and for me, the common thread here is time. You know, when I get done with my day job, which typically I work 10, 12 hours a day most days, you know, I don't have a lot of farm help. It's hard to find farm help and people that you trust on your equipment anyway. Yeah. Uh, so for me, if I have two hours left in the evening, if I have the right equipment, I can get a lot done in two hours in an evening. Same way with the T5. The T5 that I use for my equipment, perfect sized, uh, and with the technology, you can get a lot done in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you know, you're not guessing when you're done. You can paint the field if I'm, if I'm putting out fertilizer uh, or whatever I'm doing, or if I'm seeding, you know, I can paint the field. I know when I'm done. I'm not going back and having to 
to, to make an extra pass or two around the edges or whatever, it's done. Mm -hmm. So for me, it, all of these technologies are all about how does it save me time and allow me to get more done on my farm. Absolutely. So John, you're a technology guy by trade. But if I had to guess, you know, making this leap into technology, because there's not a lot of people in your area using technology on that kind of, that kind of operation, right. was there any hesitation, anything that I was thinking like, man, I just don't know if this is the right thing for me? Yeah, actually for me, no, because I, again, I am in technology, um, you know, and we all are. I mean, you know, the phone is more complicated than, than the piece of equipment in the tractor. Uh, so for me, you know, everybody can use a phone, Yep. You know, you figure out the apps, you figure it out. Um, I wasn't really concerned about a learning curve. Again, the dealer took the time to go through it with me. Literally, you know, in 15 minutes, you can really understand how to use it. There's a lot of features on it I'm not using. It's easy to use. It's touch screen. Uh, the UI is, is really simple. Um, and, you know, it, it just, it, it is really worth the money. Take, take the plunge would be my recommendation and, and just get it. The other thing I would say is, is look, as farmers, you know, we're taking soil samples and we're having to understand when we send those off and we get the results back, you know, what does that mean? You know, we're working on what do we need to put into the soil to make the, you know, farmers are scientists by nature. I mean, that's kind of what we do. So whether it's, you know, working on the cow genetics and trying to build the, the cattle that you want or get the crop what you want, Everything that we do is around, you know, science and technology that we use to do that. So for me, I think, you know, farmers are the perfect target to use technology. And, and I love having the screen. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to see where they put it and they mounted it. West Hills Tractor is my, my, yep. my vendor. Uh, they awesome. did a great, great job of mounting it and keeping everything out of the way where it's not in the way for the hay equipment or any of those, you know, for the controls, but, but it's just, it just makes everything easier. It's, it's cost avoidance for me yeah. because I'm avoiding breakdowns because I hit something on my equipment. I'm avoiding overusing seed fertilizer. I'm not buying stuff because I'm able to understand how big the fields are. There's all of those things pay for itself probably within a year, even on a small farm. This is awesome to hear. John, really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. And taking the time to come and sit with us. And thanks again. Looking forward to doing this again on our next Tailgate Talk.